So this is the last video on the corrective blend shapes and I'm gonna work on the ankle and foot. So the first thing I'm just doing is just checking what I have, what deformation I have. And now I'm just gonna create my RBF node. So all the blend shapes that I do are automatically connected. So I'm just starting by this ankle back area here, just selecting some points so I restrict my affecting area when I sculpt and just smoothing and adjusting this. So one thing I realized here is that the shoes don't have a really nice skinning around that area. They have some errors that creates these artifacts. So instead of trying to brush up this with the corrective blend shape, what I'm gonna do is um, just fix the, the skinning. So that it's something that is very typical. You don't need to go linear on your process to create corrective blend shapes. If you find situations like this where you have also some bad skinning, don't try to go and fix it with um, corrective blend shape. You need to go and just fix your skinning, so it's going to be much easier. So remember, this is a process of iteration, it's not a linear process, so it's important that you keep this iteration in mind. So just do the corrective blend shapes, and if, when you find there is another solution that fits better with your um, needs, just do it. In this case, it was just to fix the skinning. So now I'm just going to create this extreme pose there and um, just decide. So it's going to be very quick and easy to fix. So just creating the side again. As you can see now, the shoes after the fix of the skin, it's much better. Just double checking, I have my mirror configuration properly and I'm just create a mirror. So that's it for corrective lane shapes. I hope it's gonna be useful for you and see you in the next video.